Hi, this is Alec from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today, a book of The Lone Ranger from 1956. So let's get started. Young Tom Matheson sat and hugged his knee. He was waiting for the stagecoach to thunder down the dusty road near his helm. He wanted to wave to the stagecoach driver, Bill Matheson. Bill was his big brother and the best driver in all Texas. Tom told him so proudly. At last, Tom heard the swift pounding of hoops. The stagecoach cleared around the bend. Tom jumped to his feet, waving his mountain. Then the smile on his face died. Bill, he thought. Where's Bill? The driver's seat was empty. The rain flapped loosely on the horse. Back the horse was running away, their eyes wide with terror. Without thinking, Tom raced into the road. Whoa, whoa, he shouted, and leaped for the lead horse bit. With all his sense, he dragged at the horse's head. The stagecoach slowed and stopped. Tom scrambled up to the driver's seat. A piece of bright material caught his eyes. Part of Bill's shirt. Something awful happened, he whispered. He jumped off the coach and ran desperately toward his house. Paw, paw, he shouted, come quick. And then Tom remembered his father had gone to town and he was all alone. He would have to find Bill by himself and help him if he was in trouble. Tom set off down the road at a sturdy loop. Meanwhile, not far from Tom, the Lone Ranger in Toto was riding by. They heard Tom frightened shout. Listen, Toto, the Lone Ranger cried. That youngster's in trouble. They, their horse, and met Tom on the road. Tom faced Brightlin when he saw the masked rider on the big silver horse. The Lone Ranger, he breathed. It sure is lucky you came. Tom quickly told the Lone Ranger and Toto about the runaway stagecoach. The Lone Ranger lifts Tom onto his horse. Silver, let's take a look, he said, followed by Toto. They gallop off. They had not ridden far before Tom gave a frightening gasp. Look, look there, he cried. A figure laying face down in the road. Tom slid off Silver and ran to knee beside the still figure. Bill, he cried. Bill, are you hurt bad? Bill groaned. Gently, the Lone Ranger helped him turn over. He had a bruise on his forehead. Who did it? asked the Lone Ranger. A gang, said Bill. They got on a passenger. Why? Gold. I was carrying gold to Yaka City Bank, Bill answered. Bill raised himself up. He pointed. They head that way. They whispered, better get a posse. The Lone Ranger frowned thoughtfully. No, he said. There isn't time. Toto, you and Tom take Bill into Yaka City. I'll go after the game. Tom jumped to his feet. Oh, please, he begged. Let me go with you. For a long moment, the Lone Ranger looked at Tom. Then he nodded. Okay, partner, said Gus is your fight as much as mine. They helped Bill up onto T Toto horse, and Toto and Bill set off for Yaka City. Tom and the Lone Ranger, mounted on silver, headed the other way. The Lone Ranger and Tom soon found the trail of the holdup men. They are on foot, the Lone Ranger said. We'll catch up with them soon. 
But suddenly he stopped with a grunt of disgust. He pointed down. The ground was rough and tumbled. Horse, they had horses waiting for them. Looked like we'll have some hard riding to do. For many hours, Tom and the Lone Ranger rode in pursuit. They chattered up rocky hillside where the spark flew from under a silver hoof. They splashed across a wide river where the water ran fierce and swept. Across Silver Lake, they are lucky, Tom the Lone Ranger explained. The river and flood are those vomits may have ridden downstream and shooken a softer chill. The sun hung red on the horizon when the Lone Ranger drew up ahead. A thread of smoke rose into the Eden air. That may not be their fire, the Lone Ranger said, but if their varmints are might serve themselves, let's check. He and Tom left silver on hand and need. They crawled forward and peered through the bushes. Around the campfire, four men were sitting beside the men laid a stolen bag of gold. Look, boss, one of the men was complaining. I don't like this. We should be making checks. Take it easy, shorty, said the big man, called boss. That stage, so it didn't do in Yaka City. We'll be safe across the border before it's missed. The Lone Ranger stepped forward. Afraid not, mister, he said. Afraid you're being jailed. The hold-up men jumped up to their feet. Reach, said the Lone Ranger, commanding, and their hand went in the air. Okay, Tom, the Lone Ranger ordered. Get their guns. Tom collected the guns. Then he helped the Lone Ranger tie the men to their horses. The Lone Ranger and Tom led the hold-up men to Yaka City and turned them over to the sheriff. When the bandage was safe in jail, the Lone Ranger and Tom carried the bag of gold to Yaka Bank. The bank manager clapped Tom on the back. Bill came in and told us about the hold-up. He said the doc patched them up fine, and he's as good as new. Then I guess our job is done, said the Lone Ranger, with a smile. I'll find Toto and move along. Thank for your help, partner, he told Tom. And lifting his hand in farewell, the Lone Ranger leaped on silver and galloped away into the dust. So that was the Lone Ranger for 1956. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a great day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.